This video will follow up on the previous tutorial where we explained how to set up your layout. Now let's see how to configure each element that we can add between charts and panels. Welcome once again to the Neuronal Trader Binary Tools channel. Among the charts, we have ticks, counter ticks, even odd, last digit stats, over under, and worm. The ticks chart offers you a visualization of a graph that you can configure between 20 and 1000 ticks. The more ticks you select, the denser the graph will be. Counter ticks show the data in the form of a bar whose body varies between blue, red, and black. Blue represents ascending ticks, red represents descending ticks, and black represents ticks repeated more than twice. Just below this, there is an accurate count of each tick and its respective percentage weight among blue, red, and neutral or repeated ticks. The ticks to be analyzed are selectable from a population of 20 to 1000 ticks. The even ODD chart shows you a pie chart where you can clearly visualize the percentage load of the last digit of the price as either even or odd. We can also choose between populations of 20 to 1000 ticks. Last digit stats one of the most popular, it shows us a large bar graph where each bar represents the percentage load of each digit in a selected population of 20 to 1000 ticks, highlighting the most frequent digit with a green bar and the least frequent digit with a red bar. Finally, we have the over-under chart, represented by two horizontal bars. It shows the percentage load of a specific group of digits within a pre-selected population, just like in the previous charts. One bar represents under digits or those below a barrier, and the other represents over digits or those above a barrier. Unlike the charts explained earlier, here we not only have to select the population but also the barrier that will determine the group of digits we want to analyze in each case. The under-digit group is represented by a red bar, and the over-digit group is represented by a blue bar, which will eventually show a black body representing the number of times the digit that represents the selected barrier has appeared. Below these, you will find information regarding the percentage load of each group of digits evaluated, divided between the overgroup and the undergroup, as well as the percentage load representing the number of times the barrier has appeared. For example, if we select the digit 3 as the barrier for under in a population of 20 ticks, we will get the percentage load of 0, 1, 2, and 3, with 0, 1, and 2 represented by the red area and 3 represented by the black area. In the case of over, selecting 6 as the barrier in a population of 20 ticks will give us the percentage load of 9, 8, 7, and 6, with 9, 8, and 7 represented by the blue area and 6 represented by the black area. Now let's talk about the panels, which we can choose from, Accounts, Ads, Candlestick, History, Signal Center, Summary Table, and Trade. The Accounts panel shows a summary of all aspects of the work session, including the session duration, total operating time of the bot, number of trades, total amount of stakes invested, total stakes with their respective profit based on the number of winning contracts, total number of winning trades, total number of losing trades, 
status of profits and losses, and current balance. The ads panel is just platform advertising. The candlestick panel is a candle chart directly fed by TradingView, where we can select any instrument we need to view in different time frames and also add indicators, prediction lines, and other resources necessary to make our automated or manual trading more comfortable. The History panel provides a real-time list where we can view the price reached at each tick, its color, and the strength of the movement represented as a percentage. The Signal Center panel is not yet active, so we will leave it for a future update. Here's the translation. The summary table is the traditional box where all individual information for each purchased contract is displayed in a list format, including details such as date, reference number, contract type, entry price, exit price, stake, and profits. And finally, we have the trade panel, which is our panel for manual trading. This was explained in another video, which I will link in the description. And so we have reached the end of this tutorial, where we thoroughly reviewed all these excellent tools offered by Binary Tools. Remember to join our Telegram communities and follow us on our social media. The links will be waiting for you in the description. See you in the next video.